Hey there guys, Quirty Afro here, back again. I know it's been a week since I've gone back from Cyprus, I haven't been making videos, I'm sorry. Been busy, been going off to school every day, doing revision, coming back home late, so you know, it's not, it's not an easy life. It's uh, hard to manage everything in, but you know, I'm back and the class 319 came out, so you know, I thought, you know, I needed to make a video and cover it. Uh, before I get into the video, uh, two shout outs, uh, as I have a list, a growing list, remember if you want a shout out, just uh, comment down below and I'll, be, I'll put you on the list and we'll get you down, uh, remember I'm doing two shout outs per video. Uh, two names today, uh, Bernard Hayes and Tom Inel, those are two today, their links to their channels will be down below, so check them out. Check what they do. If they don't do anything, just give them a like or something or subscribe to them. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, it's a shout out, so you know, to get some exposure to them. So, two other people will be done in the next video. Again, if you want your shout out, comment down below. But, <clears throat> I'm back. Uh, the class one, uh, the class 319. I have to say, in my personal opinion and my time with it, I've not played that much of it, I've just played a bit. I think it's definitely worlds apart better than the class 321 release. Far, far better. I don't know if you guys agree with me. If any of you have played it or seen it or whatever, tell me what your thoughts are. But I think personally this is much better than the class 321. It's not perfect, but it's way, way better. And I think overall as a package it's actually pretty good. Morning driver, it doesn't look that like uh, it doesn't look as though you're going to have an easy shift today. Let the passengers board here at Brighton. Keep an eye out on your signals. Have a good day. So, uh, we're introduced with this lovely cab. Actually, I have to say this is a quite a nice cab. Um, pretty much same stuff. Nothing. Well, we have sander here. There's nothing really to press to open the doors. We have pan up, pan down. Uh, nothing else, uh, nothing here, DRA, cab lighting, uh, uh, yeah, nothing here, what, tail light, uh, headlights, nothing here, wipers, and nothing to control the doors, your AWS here, and yeah, that's pretty much your little uh, coach reminder, and then on here you have pretty much nothing as well. The, the windows don't open, which I'm not too fussed about, but it would have been nice if they could open. But other than that, that's pretty much it. All you can press, you have obviously here the, the um, side wipers for this side. Another cool thing, which is a nice thing they've added, is a little little driver's fan, which I think that's pretty cool. It's like the in the Class 150, like you have the radio, which when I looked up here, I thought, ooh, could we have a little radio here? But it, do it doesn't work, which is uh, understandable, but I like that they added something quirky like this. Quite yeah, yeah. <laughs> And obviously you get a blind, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's get into the scenario. Um, let's uh, put that into there. Let's open the door. Oh, the door animations. They are done perfectly. Actually... Yeah, actually, they're done perfectly, but at least they're not like the Class 321. The Class 321 was a total mess with the door, uh, not animations, the uh, door um, sounds. And this is actually pretty good. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. And you'll, you get, you'll get to see um, the closing animations now. Come on. There we go. I don't know if you can hear it. Look at that, it's perfect. Yes, that is how it's supposed to be. What's also cool is the lights. I really do like the lights. LEDs. Oh yes, LED backlights. I like it. And then obviously in the front you have your nice marker and then headlight, which is pretty cool. So anyway, let's head out of the station. We're going from Brighton, I do believe, to East Croydon. What I thought would have been nice is if maybe we could... Um, we could have gone to Norwood Junction, I don't know. I hope some people in the um, uh, workshop um, scenario building thing. Hope some of the people make some scenarios up to there, would be cool. Um, the sounds are, if you can hear them. Um, I'm pretty happy with the sounds. As, uh, these trains are all similar, the, like class 321, the class 319, the class 45. 
5, they pretty much have the kind of same tractor motor, so it's not like you're going to get a huge variation of sound, but this is definitely, um, you can, there's, there's definitely some sort of difference between this and the class 321, like the class 321 was really bad when it came out, because it was literally identical to the class 455, had identical sounds of the door animations to the 30, 1938 stock, so, oh shit. I just have to, I keep having to remember that I'm doing a, a flipping career scenario, so I can't go over the speed limits, which is a shame. But you know, we're going to follow the rules. And we have a passenger view. That's actually decent. I can actually look around here from side to side. We have a nice health and safety pa uh, leaflet, pamphlet, or whatever here. We have directions to the toilets. It'd be cool if we could open that door, but yeah, <laughs> no. But definitely, this is re this is actually a really nice um, interior space. Uh, also, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I actually, I'll put actually a pop up video of it somewhere on the screen now. I saw the class four five eight dash five, uh, the new renovated um, class four sixties. They basically renovated from the. If you don't know what the four class four sixties are, they're the Darth Vader trains that were on the Gatwick Express. They renovated them for the Southwest Trains network uh, to join the kind of class four. Uh, the class 458s, the Juniper class series from Alstom, if that's how you say Alstom. So I, I was on one of them. They mainly just run on the Windsor and Eater branch, which is pretty cool. And um, I have to say, I'm re I really do like them. So I hope you like that little video insert that I showed you. And I, and I went on them and they're pretty good. They're pretty comfortable. They're pretty much the same as the class 458s. They're just renovated and refurbished. They're new. They're clean. Uh, they have a 2x2 two two layout seating, a seating instead of a 2-3-2-3 two, three, two, three, uh, seating, which is on most Southwest trains um, uh, layouts. But I, I do prefer the 2 plus 2. It's just much better in rush hour situations instead of having the seats sticking out and people wouldn't be able to um, uh, stand properly and whatever, such and such. I, I really like them, yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, but it's sad to see the Darth Vader trains go, because... I know everyone who knows about the Darth Vader trains, I think everyone knows that they're pretty cool trains when they were running on the Gatwick Express. It was such a shame that they actually took them out of service, but they were costing pretty much a lot, so I, I'm, I'm not too, too surprised. Okay, <laughs> again we're having problems here when the game where only a certain amount of doors open. But hey, you know, we can't complain. We've got a nice train to drive, so that's 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 all that matters. It's all that matters. But anyway, how have you guys been? I, I it feels like I haven't been here for a while, and it pretty much hasn't. It's been a week, so I'm, I'm sorry that I haven't. Oh, time? Whoa, minus three seven six. Whoa. Okay, we need to hurry up. We're just going to put it on full speed and go. Let's see how... Oh, this this train loves to accelerate. Let's go, go, go. Okay, there we go. There's the tractor mo motors working. Go, go, go. And back into the cab. We have, like, two turn horns. Pretty cool. But anyway, well, we're, we're driving to East Croydon, as, as, we, as I said at the beginning. Uh, we need to get at Hassocks at 13 pass, which is a little bit... Oh, we, we, ooh, we were about three minutes late, four minutes late there. Okay, so we need to... We need to... We need to... We need to step on it if we don't want to get a time penalty again. But that's really annoying. In my, I think I took a little bit. I, I think I didn't depart Brighton on time because I was talking about the train and stuff to you guys. So I probably left it. I, I left a bit late, which is annoying. But anyway, hey, we don't care about the. Oh, there's the AWS. Uh, we don't really care about the career scenario points. You know me. I'm kind of laid back with it. But we need to arrive there at 13 past. So we're just gonna try and. These trains actually can go fast. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with them. They can actually go pretty fast. And I've been on these trains in real life, so, you know, they're pretty good. I'm to lower the thing now. 
Anyway, I think I, I did record this video before, but I think I was so tired I was when I recorded it. I think it was yesterday. I think it was on Friday or Saturday. I, I, no, Friday. It was on Friday evening. I started recording it and I was so tired and I was, I was then I was just talking about random stuff and I thought and then I just went in the middle of the video I was like fuck it I can't I can't record it and I literally just cut the recording which was annoying but here yeah, I'm back again I'm doing it now I feel a bit I, I, it is late though it, it, when I'm recording it is late it's like midnight or something or whatever on Saturday so um, I am tired but I feel more I feel more alive to do a video if that makes any sense so you know I'm here doing a video it's all good we must continue look oh look AI full car 319 it's just so good to have this train on this line now it just completes the line obviously we need the class 4 uh, we obviously need the class 4 4 2 the Gatwick Express that now runs on the line that would complete this line as I said in the previous um, train simulator video where I did, where drove the class 377 first capital connect so I can't wait for the scenarios where people actually put this train, uh, the first capital connect class 377s, the normal 377s on the southern. I just think it'd be a great like mixture of AI now on the London to Brighton, and it just will make it more diverse. But again, as I said in the beginning of the video, what are your thoughts on this train so far? Do you agree with me that it's actually better? Like they've released it better than the class 321 because honestly, the class 321 was horrible. Let's be honest, we all need to buy that Armstrong Powerhouse sound pack, so do you think they would be needing to make a, a, a sound pack for this? I, I personally don't, like, there's not much they can do, they might change a bit of things, they might add different liveries, like the Thameslink livery, the, te um, the Thameslink livery, the Thameslink program livery, uh, what else do you have, you have the fake southern livery, that they put onto these trains because they think at one point they leased some of these trains to Southern and then they painted it in the Southern livery but then they were lazy and they didn't repaint uh, they didn't repaint them back to Fast Capital United. so some of the class 319s now are basically in Southern livery with just a sticker over it saying Fast Capital Connect which I just think is lazy so you know but you know they still power on. They're quite. Uh, I I think they're quite reliable trains. I don't know if I'm. I don't know too much about them, uh, but I don't personally like Fast Capital. I personally don't like Fast Capital Connect. So, uh, I don't think they're a reliable service. If any of you guys use Fast Capital Connect, can you tell me? Can you confirm for me if you think it that it's not a good service? But personally, when I've been every every time I've been on Fast Capital Connect, there's always a delay. As I said, I think somewhere in my, one of my previous videos I've done ages ago, at one time when I was going down two stops, I was going two stops down, it took me an hour to go two stops because basically one train was delayed and I got onto the delay train. That train basically broke down, one of its doors was malfunctioning and we had to get off at the second sta uh, first station and it was literally horrible. I, am, I, I really didn't even want to talk about it, it was literally horrible. Let's do a flyby into the station. Well, not a flyby into the station, that's... Let's um, let's go into the station like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Nicely done. I hope we're actually at the marker. It'd be pretty cool if I was at the marker. Go to the front. Ah, uh, close enough. But we're going to be about a minute late, so that's going to be a little annoying. But, you know, what can you do? People were saying in the first screenshot when this came out that it, it looked rushed. I actually have to say, overall now, in appearance, it, it's actually quite nice. It's come together quite nice. Okay, minus 20, that's good, so we've kind of caught up. So we basically just need to hurry up now, pretty much. But I'm not going to rush out. I'm going to gradually increase the acceleration, because I think I went too fast when we were at Preston. to free I'm just glad this trains here in this game 
I didn't actually think about it too much when they actually released the first uh, uh, when they actually released the first um, uh, preview pick. I was like, oh my god, yes, the class three one nine. I just remembered that that is actually one of the main trains that runs on this line, and I, I was I was like, oh my god, yes, they're going to be making it. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. And then people were telling me. Oh, I hope this isn't. This is, I hope this is not going to be the same like the class three two one. I'm glad to say, so far with my experience, it isn't. But maybe people have their own opinions. Maybe they think that it is just as worse as the class three two one. But personally, I think it's good. It's like the, the traction motors. You're not going to get much of a difference because these the class three two one, this class, and like the class four five four five five pretty much have the same kind of traction motor sounds. They, they're not. They're very. They have the same kind of braking and stuff like that. It's not going to be too different. Sure, the Armstrong powerhouse um, people, they can make a sound pack that like um, adds more like detailed sounds than that, but they're not gonna, it's not going to be too different, you're just going to have more detailed sounds. Um, also, yeah, all the, also they, what they can do is pretty much add liveries or whatever if they want to, pretty much, but... I honestly say, I honestly have to say, this does this 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 train doesn't really need a sound pack. It's actually pretty good as how they've made it and how they put it in the game. The door sounds are good. I'm happy with it. It's good. It has a pantograph. Obviously, it has a pantograph. That's how in real life it'd be stupid if they didn't put a pantograph on it. I think it'd be pretty funny. But you know. Anyway, we're approaching Burgess Hill. Hopefully, we shall. To be arriving here on time, which oh my god, I'm entering so slow. I'm approaching the station too too far. I've slowed down too far away, and now I'm wasting time. Basically, I should have just gone in fast and braked hardcore. Right, nice start. Put into step one. Uh, brakes are all right on this train. They're not as responsive. But you know, they're cool. Right. Nicely does it. Okay, we've got a little too... I broke and <laughs> braked a little too early. And now I'm just like wasting time. Wasting time. I'm just going to do it to here. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it to the S. There we go. Wait, do the doors open here? Oh, no, no, I wanted to show you, but basically... Yeah, we have a... We have a guard signal bell, which is really cool. I'm happy we have that. Oh my god, seriously, all the doors open back up here? That's a shame. Yes, we're back on positives, which is good. Good, good stuff. All right, let's just let's just get out of here quickly. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just blast it into four, into P four, and just 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 accelerate fast to to Withersfield, which we are. Oh, and a big piece of A three paper just fell in my room from the ceiling. No, not from the ceiling, from right, from the wall. Uh, we're supposed to be there at 8.20. Okay, in one minute. We should be there in one minute if we speed along nicely. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, my, a piece of paper just fell from my wall. I have stuck down. It's like some architecture or something I'm doing. So, yeah. Alright. Yeah, this station's pretty close. And now we have to go back into braking. Does it? I think we can do. Should we do a? Yeah, let's do a entrance camera. I like doing these type of cameras because it kind of trains your braking as well. There we go. Nicely does it. Nicely does it. Nice, he does it. 
Yeah, we should just leave it now. Rolling in, rolling in. Yay! Riversfield. Yeah, and it's a typical rainy day. But to be honest, these past few days, I have to say, this past week has been really nice. Well, in London, has been really, really nice in weather. It's been sunny. It's I, I, I can't complain. Oh, we actually nearly lined it up to. Oh no, this is just a. Oh, we should we should have gone all. Uh, okay. Next time I know we need to go all the way up to the up to the marker, but it doesn't matter. Okay. But as you may know, the class three one nine it's third rail compatible and has a pantograph for high wires. So it's a it's a nice uh, multi usable train. That's why you get it you get it um, here on the southern part of the network on third rail and then uh, when it goes up north into Bedford changes onto uh, wire, upper wire with, uh, with, it, with its pantograph so you know it's, it's cool um, so even, even though actually Southern have uh, a few trains with pantographs because they obviously run the service between Selhurst and Watford Junction no, 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 not Watford Junction, and Milton Keynes Central, which is pretty unusual, like, it's kind of like a weird line in a sense, it's a kind of a weird little connecting line, like, southern trains, you don't really think southern trains go that much north, but southern trains actually start at Milton Keynes Central, if we were looking at this, like, properly, they actually start at M Milton Keynes Central, that's the most northerly place you can get a southern train, which, to be honest, is quite north. <laughs> so it's not really southern, that, that route, that like... It's not really like a proper southern route. It's kind of like a north, west London into southern route, or something like that. But it's an interesting route, and it kind of it follows the... Obviously, it follows the London Overground from Clapham Junction up to like Wilson Junction where it turns off and get, follows the London Midland and Virgin trains up to Milton Keynes Central. So you know it's an interesting route. Uh, yeah, and so there are there are the there are the like weird little routes that different companies have. I can't really remember much of the top of my head, but you know. Alright, we need to start slowing down a bit for Hayward's Heath, which is our next station. Well, min minus 191 points. We can, I think, we can neutralise that. I'm not really looking to score big points because we pretty much fucked up already. But you know, we can. We might as well just try and neutralise as much as we can. Is that a train up ahead of us? Yes, I do. I think it. it, 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 it these trains are pretty much really distingu distinguishable. Like they literally have the really bright light. Through the tunnel, and then Hayward's Heath should be out here once we emerge. There we go. There's a yeah. There's a class three one nine in that in the station. There we go. Nicely does it. And these mainly pretty much come in eight coaches. Some of the class three, uh, seven, seven, first capital connects come in um, twelve car formations, mainly on the faster routes. But yeah, they've extended most of their platforms so they can accommodate those twelve car um, trains. There we go. There we go. Look the. Door release left. Fortunately, we can't do anything to close the doors. Door closed, nothing works. Signal buzzer, nothing works. Actually, the buzzer works when you press C, so you know. But there's no actual physical button for it in the train. I 
But yeah, um, this first Capital Connect route goes from all the way down from Brighton up to Bedford, pretty much. Oh, okay, ooh, that was a really delayed guard signal reply. There we go, off we go. Uh, well, we need to go via Balcombe. So, what's our next station? By Free Bridges, and then we go, we have to go obviously via Balcombe first. Uh, and also, I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be starting hopefully random drive soon. I'm going to start make a few um, videos of random drive. Obviously, when uh, the, the idea is that I um, uh, do a random drive. You know, you have the random feature on the quick drive, so I'll just do a few of those. See how you think. People said they like the idea, so I'm just going to follow up with it and see how you guys like it with an episode of it. You know, I think it's going to be interesting because I generally don't know what I'd be driving. I could be driving somewhere completely like ludicrous with a with a retarded train that isn't supposed to be there. <laughs> you know, it's the joy of random randomness. But anyway, yeah, I was talking about yeah this this train. So this route goes all the way. This route goes all the way up to Bedford, and it passes obviously stuff like Luton Airport Parkway, which is like Luton Airport Station. There's no Luton Express with a uh, with a uh, some airport. M most airports have an express. Like Heathrow has the Heathrow Express, Gatwick has the Gatwick Express, Stansted even has a Stansted Express, which is run on behalf of National Express, or I think it's East, I don't even know, I think it's National Express now that own the company or whatever. I don't know, it's confusing. Most of these kind of stuff like um, Greater Anglia, I don't know, It's probably. I think it's Greater Anglia now that own the routes. It used to be National Express and then it used to be Great Eastern or One Railway, I, I don't know, I, it, too many different brands own most of those eastern part sections so I'm really confused of what's happening but yeah Stansted has a um, Stansted has the uh, uh, a, 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 an express which is pretty cool uh, Heathrow has one Gatwick has one but Luton doesn't have one if you want to go to Luton you pretty much have to take this train which I'm driving now which is not that bad it's not bad of a compromise to be honest uh, well, actually, no, it's faster capital connect, so you're pre pretty much going to be delayed, and then you're going to be delayed for your flight, which is probably with EasyJet because Luton is the EasyJet hub, and pretty much from Luton, EasyJet have many delays, so you know. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not saying that EasyJet's a bad company, I flew with EasyJet. EasyJet is actually quite nice, it's one of the nicest, cheaper. Um, uh, airline companies, and I actually really enjoyed it. I wouldn't go on something like Ryanair, but EasyJet was alright. <sighs> nice, rainy, I don't even know what time is it? It's 8.28 it's 8 in the evening? Or even, no, it's probably in the morning. Now, they're saying go via Balcombe. I'm hoping, okay, the signals look good. I'm just gonna go at this speed at 60 miles an hour while I fly through the station so you know I can not run anyone down if they decide to jump under the train which obviously in trains of May 2014 they won't because that's ludicrous but you know do a little flyby do it from this side Increase speed. Increase it. Actually, really, actually, it didn't need to slow down. I don't know why I slowed down. I think I was just being a little too cautious there. But you know, I slowed down. Safety first. But um, oh, and I can talk to you about like basically today. Well, Saturday, the fifteenth of uh, March, I went to Leicester to have a look at the uni, uh, University of Leicester, which I'm probably going to go study at, which is probably my favourite choice so far. Um, yeah, and I went with East Midland Trains, and I have to say, East Midland Trains, which are uh, owned by the same group that owns Southwest Trains, and um, I was pretty impressed. They're 
pretty nice trains. They either run. I can't remember what the uh, what the what the modern diesel unit is called, uh, what class it is or whatever. But they have a modern diesel unit, and then they used um, then they use the HST, the high speed um, train intercity trains, obviously in the East Midlands trains livery. And um, I got to travel on the new uh, diesel units on the way there, and then on the way back I got to travel on the HST. And I'd say it was pretty good. On the way there on the modern trains, uh, because I reserved seats, they have all these kind of little monitors or whatever that show you if the seat's reserved or not, and where is it reserved from and from, which is pretty cool. For the modern train, it was really, uh, the seats were big, and it was like really cool moody lighting or whatever. But then on the way back, um, on the HST, it was like obviously the kind of old carriages and whatever. It was kind of like a toy train for some reason. I don't know. This is probably East Midlands uh, interior, standard class interior is pretty um, basic, but it felt like a toy train almost. And I didn't feel like I was in the HST, but it was actually much more comfortable than the um, the modern diesel, the modern diesel unit. And I think that's because. Uh, with the modern diesel unit, the diesel engines are pretty much underneath each carriage, so you get the vibrations of the engine below you, while in the HST, uh, the engines are obviously on the front and the back of the train, and there's nothing underneath the carriages, so it's pretty much a smooth journey, and it was actually great, I really enjoyed it, it was a great, it was like an hour journey between London, St Pancras, to Leicester, and I really enjoyed it, pretty good, if any of you guys have travelled that route, do you enjoy it? Do you like East Midland trains? Uh, I think they're pretty basic, they're nothing really special, but they're pretty good. Um, I really should be slowing down, but yeah, um, they're pretty good. Obviously the um, Southwest trains is under their kind of branding as well. Pretty much, they, they look pretty much the same, obviously Southwest trains have like red uh, trains, blue trains, and white trains. While well, East Midlands just have white trains, but you can tell that their like uh, logos and stuff are pretty similar. They're in the same places. They, yeah, they kind of use the same color scheme, so that you know you can tell that they 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 could be related in some sorts. So you know, but I I definitely enjoyed my uh, my time when I was traveling between St Pancras and Leicester, and I probably will be doing it more if I go to Leicester. So you know. Better get uh, all suited up for the long haul of travelling on diesel trains. Or until they electrify them, probably, in the future. Because, yeah, I don't know. I, this is the thing. I don't know if they will be electrifying these kind of diesel routes throughout the UK. Will they just be keeping them at diesel routes? Is it cheaper to be having diesel routes instead of just electrifying it all? Yeah, that's a, just a really interesting question because most there are m most like areas in the north and around remote places of Britain, it's pretty much just diesel. Electrics only in the kind of su uh, suburban areas where you're going to have metro services and whatever. So that's that's like an interesting point to um, to draw upon. Okay, three bridges. I think we're on time. We're probably, I think we might get positive. Yeah, there we go. Haven't seen much AI in a while. And I also tried to uh, change the destination board. Uh, uh, it doesn't work, just to let you know. Which it would have been cool if it did, but it doesn't. Sadly, but surely. You can't have everything. That's what you pretty much have to accept with Train Simulator DLC and stuff. You can't have everything. You're going to have sometimes some of this. You're sometimes going to have some of that with a train. It just all depends kind of on the train and how Dovetail Games are feeling with making a particular part of DLC. But, as I said, with the Class 319, I'm so far happy with it. Like it drives well, it handles well, it looks really nice, uh, it sounds good, better than the class 321, for sure. Oh. I don't know why my reversal was in neutral, did I put it in there? No, it did. The, electric, the emergency brake didn't go off, I must have accidentally put it into neutral.
there she goes. Next station is Gatwick Airport. That's also interesting. This train, the first Capital Connect, covers two airports. Not many. I actually don't think many lines cover two airports. That's actually a good point to make. There's actually no lines that actually cover two airports, like two well, like well-known airports like Gatwick Airport. Maybe somewhere around England or Scotland or wherever there might be a line. But so far here in the London area, there's actually no line in the London area that actually serves two airports. I don't think so. No, because Gatwick served by Sudden, which Sudden only serve Gatwick, they don't really serve anything else, they don't serve Heathrow, they don't, they, no, it's pretty much Gatwick, uh, you have, well, so you have, you have Gatwick Express, obviously, you have First Great Western as well, that come from, um, I think it's Gil, no, not Guildford, I don't know, Red Hill, was no, yeah, no, I don't know, basically, the First Great Western also use, um, uh, Gatwick Airport, but First Great Western don't go to any other airport, uh, yeah, and pretty much First Capital Connect goes through Gatwick, and then it goes to Luton. So pretty much, is a if you're landing at Gatwick and you need a connection at Luton, you just take this train up, which is actually pretty good because from Heathrow you can't really take a train to Gatwick or somewhere else. You would have to change and change, which probably would be annoying. Like Stansted, Stansted, you wouldn't be able to. No, you wouldn't be able to connect up to Heathrow or. Um, or, or, or Luton or Gatwick with one line. So you know that's something unique about First Capital Connect. Maybe it's the only good thing about First Capital Connect, let's be honest. I don't know why I'm slowing down like really really far away from the stations. I don't know, I'm being really cautious in this video. Maybe it's because I really fucked up with the points or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, be, uh, also being recently at Gatwick Airport Station, it's pretty much changed. And they've added like two new platforms, I think, or they've renovated two new platforms. Platform 1 and 2, I think, for the Gatwick Express and such and such. So, you know, I wish sometimes maybe they would update some of these stations. Because some of these stations do not look anything at all like in real life now. Like maybe th this is how they did look like when they were building this route, but currently now this station doesn't look anything like this. It looks okay, some bits are still the same, but they don't have they don't take into consideration for the newer things that have been added. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nicely does it. Nicely does it. There we go. Oh yes, that was perfectly done. Go into the go into the nice passenger view, which is actually like as I said, it's it's good, it's nice, it's not restricted like the class three two one. I can move around, I can look at the ceiling, look at the pink bars, I can look down, I can look side to side, I can look left, I can zoom in. Can I is there an alternative seat? No there isn't, but to be honest, I'm happy. Stand clear of the closing doors. This train is ready to depart. Stand clear. Right. Oh, and look at that rendered plane. <laughs> There's these planes that they do for, uh, for the landing. It just make crack me up when when I see them. Is that a train coming? Yeah, probably. But we we need to go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, hold up. Oh shit! Am I am I at the wrong side of the? Oh my god, <laughs> that's a little embarrassing. I'm, I was on the wrong side. <laughs> I get both sides of the of Gatwick Airport really confused up in this game. But yeah, I've seen comments um, underneath, like, say, the pics and stuff and releases of the Class 3 people are now saying, we now want the extension up to Bedford from 
East Croydon. We want the extension now to Bedford or something, which I think would be cool because technically we're not actually using the pantograph on the London to Brighton route because there's nowhere on the London to Brighton route where there's overhead wires, so you know, it's the same with the class 377 first capital connect. They didn't actually make areas where you could use the pantograph, which I don't know, you know. Obviously now they haven't really made much they've only made they only have like the, the London Victoria to um Brighton section. So it's not like they've catered for the first Capital Connect trains. They've only just added them. Obviously they haven't changed the map to suit them. But this is good so far. I like this. You can go from East Croydon to Brighton on this. That's fine. Maybe, uh, obviously because there's Norwood Junction. Maybe scenario makers of the Steam Workshop. When you make scenarios, you know, just include Norwood Junction. Because it is there. I don't think it's officially there, but it is there. They put the station there. So we could start from there. Just a thought. But East Croydon as well is pretty much a fine station to start. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually. Uh, the speed of this train is pretty good. Let's turn off the fan. No, let's turn it on. It's, it's, it's kind of hot in here. What's it? The top speed is 100 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, these trains. They don't look like they're supposed to go fast. They don't look like they're supposed to go fast, but they just they, they go fast. Like I don't know, some trains when you look at them look like they're supposed to go fast and some trains when you look at them, no, they're not supposed to go fast. But then you have the kind of odd ones where some of them look like they go really fast. But hell no, they don't even go fast, they go slow. And then you have the ones like this. Oh shit! And we are we're going off a little bit of <laughs> with a penalty points. So I'm only I'm just barely positive. <laughs> but yeah, we have like this train, which but it doesn't really look like it's supposed to be been designed to go really really fast. So you know, but maybe some people might disagree. They might think the classroom online looks like a bullet. I will not criticize that. I would just uh, accept your opinion and you know I have no objections if people think that this train looks like a fast sting stingray or bee or whatever crap you wanna <laughs> you wanna comment about this train, but if you wanna say something like that, say something like that. That's why we have the comment section below where you can comment down below, you can uh, ask questions or whatever request a shout out if you want to all sorts of stuff in the comment section below I really do like interacting with you guys it's great, great to read all your comments and stuff like that and the class three, uh, the class 9-1 video I did oh my god I got so popular Like it's got like straight away a thousand views within the week which is really cool so you guys really do like that I definitely want to do the other mission the understanded mission that comes with it and then probably I'll see if there's any scenarios available and try and do that because I do like the class 9 one and hopefully I want to do some more scenarios of it. Hopefully I want to do more scenarios of the class 319 if you guys like the class 319. So, you know, get a bit of both. But this is interesting. This is the point, like, we're now on the fast line and that on the left is the slow line. When I was going to Gatwick Airport, on the way to Gatwick Airport, I went on the fast line all the way. But when I came back, um, when I went back into London, to Victoria from Gatwick, we used the slow line, which I don't know why there weren't any works going on on the fast line, but it we went on the slow line and it was slow. Obviously, it was slow because it is the slow line, and there and they are they are stopping trains that are actually still running on it so you can't really have a pure express so I was like on it and we weren't going too fast we had to keep slowing down then when we got like past um, uh, when we got past uh, what was it when we got past uh, East Croydon something like when we got past East Croydon it was hell slow like we were not moving too fast we got around like 
uh, Clapham area was still on the slow branch and I heard people around me in the in in some of the other seats on the Gatwick Express who were saying how is this an express like it's just a Gatwick train it's not an express how why are we going so slow and all of that kind of which I, I agreed with them like if it's an express you need to prioritize that train to go fast and not Put it on the slow line only put it on the slow line when like say there's something wrong with the fast line but maybe i'm wrong maybe there were engineering works on the fast line but still it's just it's just really annoying because you pay for a service that goes really fast from a to b it's an express but if you have an express that goes then onto the line where the stopping trains are it's not really an express it's kind of like a a fast train that kind of has to weave itself in between all these stopping trains which is annoying can be annoying maybe some of you guys have experience, experienced it when you were on an express or uh, a, a non-stop um, train service from one location to another where you've gone onto the line which shares stopping trains and then you just have to keep following up on these stopping trains and stopping and waiting for clear signals and stuff like that which, which I find is just a little you know I, I, like this, like this on this stretch of track, it, this is the express route, this is where fast trains only operate, which is good because there's always a constant flow of either southern trains, fast capital connect trains, or Gatwick express trains. So there's going to be a, a constant flow, uh, there's not going to be like much stopping and starting unless there's like a huge amount of traffic and signals are like red or amber, but generally you're going to just have a nice flow nice express uh, trains flowing through here obviously there right now we're literally going straight I think for I don't even know what's our next station oh, our next station is East Croydon so our next station is actually our last stop on uh, on this route so we're just going straight up and we're just oh and again I'm <laughs> I'm over speeding by like one two miles per hour and I'm getting penalized for it you know, I'm not paying attention. I am tired. I'm kind of trying to keep myself awake. I'm trying to keep myself talking to you guys because right now I feel like just like dropping my head on this desk and <laughs> saying sweet dreams. But <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking and I'm just gonna, you know, just, uh, walk it out towards East Croydon, where this train terminates. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this little video that I've made for you guys. I've enjoyed the class 319 so far. I definitely would like to hear your opinions in the comment section below. Uh, below. What do you think of this train? Are you going to get it? People that have it, what do you think of it so far? As I said, as I've given you my opinion throughout this video, I think it's definitely better than the class 321. It's not perfect, but I definitely think it's overall as a package from Dovetail Games. I actually think it's generally quite good. And I'm happy with that. I can see myself driving this train on a lot of stopping service or fast services on this map, maybe even other maps. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Uh, we're 2.42436 whatever miles away from Purdy, which we have to pass. Let's go into the nice passenger view. Well, it's not nice, but decent and now we just have brick walls on each side so nothing much to see there let's do a, a flyby from the street nice slick Then we have Colston Town South, I think. Oh, oh, really? An emergency warning? Are you serious? This is one thing I hate. I really do hate. Is like, say if I want to do a flyby cam. I, I know people have had this problem. I want to do a flyby cam. And when I go outside, it doesn't give me the um, AWS or the DSD warning outside when I'm actually driving outside. I want to use a different camera view. I know, I think I know I can disable it somewhere. Actually, I don't even know if I can disable it on here. I don't even know if it's Shift 4, Shift Control 4. Oh no. Control Shift 4, Control Shift Enter, Control Shift 
know. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, some in some game modes you can disable it. Some some don't allow you to disable it. I don't know. I just find it really annoying that I want to be outside on another view. I might be in a passenger view. I might be on an external view, and I can't hear. It doesn't want to play the the, the alarm sounds, which I think that's annoying. When you're outside, you should hear the alarm sounds so you can react to them instead of watching your train from a flyby camera and then your alarm sign goes inside the train you can't hear it and then your train goes into an emergency brake lockdown like really like then why if if you're gonna have all these alarms why do you have to have external views do you want like do you want people to play the game see right now with this do you want the people to just stay in the cab all the time or do you want can people still respond to the alarms but go and go into different external views I just find that a little annoying annoying everything was going so well and then we had to have that little hiccup with an emergency break but to be honest that wasn't my fault I was just doing I was just trying to do a nice little flyby cam uh, camera for you guys I know you guys like your little flyby cameras even though secretly you don't want to admit it but you know you like your flyby cameras yeah, so it gives you a chance to appreciate the train. Like, so the point of a flyby camera. Get to like that's that's a kind of train spotter's good view. Like you're you're just looking at the train go by. But in this case, you're looking at your own train go by, which many people get the satisfaction of. Which I am one of them. <laughs> Anyway, pretty much now. Oh, AWS going off. Crazy. But yeah, we are. Should be slowing down now. 60 miles an hour is the new speed limit coming up. And then 45. And then we'll be in East Croydon Platform 2, where this train doesn't terminate, but this train terminates for us. Because there's nothing past East Croydon except for, like, a unofficial Norwood Junction and then that's pretty much it. Alright, there we go. 60 miles an hour. I don't have to worry. I really want to do a flyby cam. Oh, sorry about that. My, my game just minimized. But yeah, I was saying I really want to do a flyby cam but I'm not really going to chance it with the um, DSD or AWS, whatever it's called. Let's turn on this swiper. There we go. Nicely does it. Fans working. Everything's good. Approaching our last destination, East Croydon. We should slow down a bit more. Must be a bit of a cramped cab, to be honest, to go from like Bedford to Brighton. Some of these cabs are incredible in trains, like the class 450 cabs. Wow, I give credit to those drivers that have to sit in there, like say if they have to go from like Waterloo to Bournemouth or something, I don't know. I give so much credit for them being able to sit in that confined space. Like this space isn't actually too bad because it's open, while in the class 450 you have a guard here, uh, like a like a barrier because you have a gangway in between to the the carriages, which can be a little annoying. Anyway, here we go. Coming into platform two, East Croydon, where we unfortunately finish. But this train some somewhere goes on. Let's go back to the original view. Where's the eight marker? I can't see it. Oh, here it is. There we go. Oh, almost. That should be fine. And again, doors don't open, but you know. 
They've opened here, which is good to see. Anyway, um, we are coming to a close to our um, to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me driving the class 319, which is available now to purchase on Steam. 11.99, you're pretty much the standard price for these kind of DLCs currently. Nicely done, you managed to make a good time, just about enough for you to grab a cup of before your next shift. That's cool. And uh, we did a lot of mistakes, but uh, uh, you know, we don't really pay attention to this. This is just numbers and letters that just don't make sense. They're not errors. Just, uh, that's propaganda. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think of the class 319. Are you going to get it if you have it or whatever? You know, discussion. You can ask me stuff. You can sh request a shout if you want that kind of sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try the random drive, hopefully. Not many videos are going to be coming out. Don't expect a lot because I'm, I'm revising so much and I just, you know, I'm tired and I try, basically. I try. But um, thank you for all the kind of views and stuff like in the previous Train to Move video videos. I'm, I'm glad you like it. I'll be definitely getting out like some more Class 9 ones and stuff like that. But um, other than that, um, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, uh, if you have any other friends that are interested in this kind of stuff, share the video out, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, the social media kind of thing you use, share it out. Like the video if you actually don't really like it. And, you know, comment down below, as I said get involved in the discussion of the class 319 or anything else like train simulator related i hope you guys have a nice day wherever you are take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye we ain't